um, um, what am I saying? Hi there, thank you so much for tuning in. Today I am reviewing this book. It's The Woman Next Door by Yawanda Omotoso. Usually I try keep it on the short side, but with this book I just cannot. I have so much to say about it. Um, so go ahead, grab yourself a cup of tea, a cup of something, honey, wine, whatever you feel like drinking, and I hope you will enjoy this longish book review. So the first thing I will say is that this is a signed copy. Yawanda herself signed this copy um, and I've worked with Yawanda before a little bit on some projects that I was doing and yeah so I don't I don't know know her but in my head we are besties so hey bestie if you see this at all so this book as you can tell from the title and the cover is about two women living next door to each other they live next door to each other in a fictitious neighborhood in cape town um hortensia is black marion is white they both over 80 are very wealthy have had really good careers and have recently been widowed so that's the story so from the short synopsis that i just provided you i would think that the themes are slightly obvious I don't know I think so one of the themes that I was very surprised to relate so much to was this theme was this theme was this theme of getting old and aging and old age and obviously I'm not 80 years old but as a person who is in her 30s I'm definitely seeing the changes that my body is going through this theme of old age is quite prevalent in her in her book and i think the thing of uh, with growing older or aging is there's a sense of you're losing control and both hortensia and marion are people who you know who like being in control who are like borderline control freaks so throughout the book you see them struggling with this idea of not having control over an aging body which is something like i said it, i resonated with because yeah i'm also getting older we we all eventually get older and yeah i thought you wanted did a good job of capturing one's mindset as the body deteriorates so the other thing that i thought was kind of obvious just from the the synopsis of the book is race and racism um the book is based in cape town south africa which is a very racist city let's be honest and you have two women who are both in their 80s one is black and one is white like it's so obvious that the race and racism is going to come up although this theme is quite massive throughout the book um i love the fact that you wonder um, did not you know her story her writing does not come across as preachy or didactic I thought having a character like Hortensia was So brilliant because Hortensia is the kind of no-nonsense kind of person she tells us she tells it as it is and She calls out people on their white privilege through the entire book. She is constantly calling people on their white privilege specifically so with Marion who is kind of I don't know in denial or what or pretends to be in denial or pretends not to see her white privilege so Hortensia is constantly in her face telling her so the character Marion is in denial of her white privilege and I think a lot of people a lot of white people are in denial of this because acknowledging and accepting your white privilege means that you are acknowledging and accepting the fact that you benefited from apartheid the system of apartheid and you continue to benefit because of it so throughout the book they different stages of marion's life that we are introduced to um so we get to know like her childhood and how when she was growing up she used to ask her parents um what's wrong with black people why are they being treated this way and obviously her parents couldn't give her a good answer and she didn't feel satisfied with her parents answers 
um, and she felt she felt very bad that you know black people were being treated this way. As a child, you're not born racist, and you could tell that how that's how Marion was. And then later, we introduced to a stage where she is aware. Of the fact that something is going wrong, but she is not doing anything about it. But there's a certain level level of guilt that is there. Another stage is we are introduced to her being aware of the fact that something is happening, doing nothing about it, and not feeling any guilt. Do you see how this is progressing? Another stage is where she's become the person who tells her maid that, listen, you cannot wash your clothes in the same load as the family's clothes. I really like how your wonder gives us insight into Marion and how she became who she is. I think what she's trying to say with the way she presents Marion is no one is born racist. We are people are taught how to be racist and you can and this is very apparent with marion yeah marion is a perfect example of white privilege and the denial of it and i will recommend that if you struggle with that this is a good book to read and see on paper what that looks like so the last point with the racism theme that I really liked was the fact that Hortensia did not give Marion space to justify or explain her guilt her, her guilt her guilt away which I absolutely love because the work of dealing with white privilege and the guilt that it comes with and all of that that is not our work and by our work I mean it's not black people's work like you know we already have a lot to deal with living in a world that does not like or love our blackness so it's not my job to comfort you because you feel guilt over your white privilege and that comes across in Hortensia's um attitude and i love that because it's true so I know I went on and on and on about that um, theme, but you know what? I am black. I'm living in Cape Town. And yeah, the theme resonated with me very, very much. So very quickly, there are other themes in this book. The one is, you know, love and relationships and how sometimes we fall in love with, you know, people we do not expect to fall in love with or people we are told not to fall in love with and... You know, it also looks at the cycles of love and relationships and sometimes we fall in love and we fall out of love and sometimes we hold on to something that is completely dead and there's no way to resuscitate it. So there's a bit of that as well. There's a bit of motherhood, how some people want to be mothers but cannot. Other people become mothers but... They become terrible mothers because they never wanted to be mothers in the first place. And they yeah, so those are the themes. I thought you wonder did a stellar job of interweaving all these themes um, together and making, you know, producing a really good, good story without feeling, without leaving the reader overwhelmed or, you know, without the work coming across too preachy. So I thought that was. It was 10 out of 10. You won the 10 out of 10, girl. So I won't speak too much about the characters because I think I've already done that. Um, you know about Hortensia and you know about Marion and the kind of relationship or lack thereof. Um, yeah, but what I will say though about Hortensia is like the very first time we are introduced to her, you know, you can tell like she's this sassy um hardcore no nonsense borderline mean old woman but from the get-go i could tell that was a cover-up of you know some hurts that she's been through in her life and it's yeah you get you get to know her so in the synopsis at the back of the book you are told that hortensia and marion eventually become friends but you just don't you just don't see it the entire time i kept thinking how will these two people that hate each other so much how will they possibly 
become friends the story has enough plot twists for you to keep interested so overall i think it is a brilliant book and definitely worth the read and if you are looking to read more about the themes that i just mentioned i would say definitely give it a go and i think you will not be overwhelmed by it but it will give you some some insights that you possibly do not have who knows um, but I definitely think it's worth the read. Well done to you wonder yet again producing a brilliant book that I love. So friends that was my book review. I know that was quite long but like I said I had a lot to say. So if you were able to make it to the end well done to you um, and if you like this book review or any of my book reviews please subscribe give me a thumbs up comment below till next time See you. Take care. Bye. <sighs> so, that was a lot of talking, my God.